how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2023 and another part of the Journeyman with Portsmouth. Today, we are back with uh, some FA Cup action against Newcastle United in the fourth round um, before taking on Hull in the league. Um, interesting last few matches since you were last with me. Uh, we managed to beat Lincoln 3-2 uh, with Daniel Batty and uh, Harry Cornick on the score sheet. So we beat them in extra time. Uh, we then went on to beat Bristol City 2-1 away from home. Russell Denny and Ricky J. Jones with uh, late goals in that one. We then drew one uh, a one all against Blackburn. Reese Russell Denny scoring there uh, and drew uh, or lost 4-1. Sorry to Burnley uh, with Harry Cornick getting our only goal in that one. We did go 1-0 up, as you can see. So a little bit of a shame that we lost that one. Um, all in all, we're still mid-table in the league uh, in 16th position. We're 13 points clear of relegation um, and, you know, a long, long way off any potential playoffs. So to be honest, uh, this is probably going to be where we finish this season and that's absolutely fine, you know. I'm 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 at peace with that, but um, we'll see how we can get on in terms of a um, cup run this season. That might be a, a good little distraction. Top goal scorer is Ricky J Jones with eleven nine four corner uh, and six four Dale five each for Russell Denny and Luke Kundal. Top assists is Luke Kundal with six five for uh, Owen Dale. And four for Stuart Dallas. A top average rating is 7.05 for Jake O'Brien. And uh, new boy, Eden Rattle, uh, who has come through the youth system. We gave him a match and he's uh, he got a seven average rating. Or, or a seven rating in that uh, particular match. Uh, we have got rid of a couple of more players. Um, basically to, to try and solve the financial situation we are in. Um, lots of players went out on loan, including Clark O'Durr. Uh, with wages being paid, but Daniel Batty has left the club. I was disappointed because he's a player that has done well for us over the last uh, couple of seasons, and you know I didn't really want to get rid of him. Um, but nine hundred thousand pound was the offer. We took that, um, and it got a, a a fairly reasonable wage packet off uh, the wage budget uh, we're now only overspending by uh, 13,000 pounds we can increase that a little bit to oh, 8,000 now very very good uh, so yeah it, it's it's all relative I suppose you know um, our financial situation isn't good but we are trying to do things to, to change that and certainly by the end of the season hopefully we'll be in a much better financial situation um, because we will be getting rid of uh, a couple of players. A Gungbo will be going. Stuart Dallas will inevitably be going as well. So that brings 13,000 in. We're currently on uh, 227,000. So that'll bring us within range by about five grand. So it's going to be a quiet summer. I think it's going to be a lot of development players coming through. Luckily for us, we do have a lot of players that can do that sort of job. Um, apparently, we're going to be getting a very, very good bunch of uh, youth intake players, youth candidates. You know, you look at this, our intake is looking very, very good and, and in all positions as well, which is the main thing. Uh, this guy looks pretty good, Liam Terrington. He is currently playing for AFC Wimbledon in the league below. Already looking decent, definitely uh, Premier Division standard. And uh, you look at some of those attributes and you think he might be worth a recall. I, I don't know if we can recall him at this point because we're not in a transfer window. But, um, you know, that that's exactly where we need to look next season. Promoting a few of those young players, bedding them into the team early on and, and in pre-season. And, and fingers crossed we can do something good with them. But uh, that's uh, the position we're in. Um, anyway, let's have a little look at the team for today against Newcastle United. Uh, we've got Brad Young starting in goal. Then Curtis, O'Brien, Raggett and Pye in defence with Thomason and Adshead in the middle of the park. And Owen Dale, Luke Kundal and Reese Russell Denny starting behind Ricky J. Jones up top. We're going to swap them to round. Right, let's get into the action now. Here we go. 
Newcastle away from home. Certainly not expected anything. You know, you look at that squad and you think, wow, you know, Jude Bellingham on the bench, uh, Isak on the bench. Wow, what a team. Uh, Bergewin playing up top. Uh, San Maximan up there. Gonchalves in there. Pepe in there as well. Wow. What what a what a team and Ugerken Kakia, who uh, of course we had in last year's Newcastle United save, um, and we are in St James's Park. Newcastle doing well in the league uh, above, and nice to see them doing well in the league. Let's go and uh, knock them out of the FA Cup. That would be rather nice. We've got a. A good little team there. We've got Rattle on the bench. Maybe you guys will, will get to see him a little bit later on. But if we can go and do something in this match, then that might give us confidence to to go and have a, a proper cup run. As I say, I think we're we're safe in the league. We're certainly not going to get promoted this season. So we can kind of throw all of our eggs into the FA Cup if we really want to. But we'll see how today goes and we may well go out uh in this round anyway here's renan lodi on the ball gets it to macarthur now to pedro pedro forward bergewan's there bergewan with a shot and it's in to the back of the net although the uh linesman is unmoved does that mean it's var no it doesn't newcastle are one nil in front not a great start ricky j jones gets it at ad's head here's jake o'brien now to curtis Thomason. Here's uh, Russell Denny. Good ball forward. Uh, Gehi gets it though. Renan Loddy. Now then. Okay, here's Renan Loddy. Brand Bertrand to MacArthur. San Maximan gets it forward. Bergewan. Oh, good save. Now then, San Maximan whips it in. O'Brien away. Mm, looks like it's going to be end of highlight. Right, instantly another highlight then. Let's uh, get going. Pepe with the throw gets it to Bergewan. And, uh, well, Jones was trying to make the tackle there. Doesn't manage anything, though. Here's MacArthur gets it forward. And, uh, well, O'Brien cuts it out. Here's Dale. Raggett to uh, O'Brien. Back to Young. And now clears to Pye. Come on. Let's see if we can build something from this. Newcastle's pressing just relentless, though. And San Maximan with a shot. And it's 2-0 within five minutes. That is quality showing through. That, that pressing was just so good. It kept us... Under pressure on the ball and, uh, you know, that if, if we were a team from last season, maybe we could have coped with that. But we're not playing with that out-and-out confidence that we've had um, in previous seasons. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Right, let's uh, try and encourage them, get them fired up for the, the rest of this match. Press this half. It would be nice to, to go and grab a goal before half time, but realistically, are we going to get two and are we going to keep Newcastle out? Because here's San Maximan again. Good save from Brad Young, who I do think will eventually be uh, a lower end Premier League player. He's only 25 years old, still improving in terms of being a goalkeeper. Header away by O'Brien. Here's uh, Bergewan again. What can he do with it? Renan Lodi now. Bombing forward with the ball. Is he going to shoot? No, gets it back to Rodriguez off the bar. And it bounces clear. Now he has uh, Russell Denny, but didn't manage to do anything with that. And we head into halftime. 2-0 behind to the tune. And I think we have to thrash our arms about what was that. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Um, Yeah. I think we're we're going out of the FA Cup, folks. I don't think there's any doubt about that. But we will probably make some changes before long. He has Kundal low, great ball over the top from Young. Kundal still pushing, and you know he's trying to suit Premier League teams and wanting to 
Potentially get a move. Ricky J. Jones is the one that puts it into the back of the net. Is it offside? I don't think it is. And it's in the back of the net. And I tell you what, we are back in this match. It was Thomason on that right-hand side. Got it to the left to Logan Pye, who uh, spread it across the middle in a brilliant finish from Ricky J. Jones. That's why I trusted him up front today rather than Cornick, because I, I thought he'd just have that slight more composure um, in those situations. Right, Stuart Dallas is going to go to the right-back uh, position. We are going to bring on um, Eden Rattle, our youngster, who could potentially be Premier League standard one day. Um, we're going to bring on Harry Cornick on that right-hand side, I think. Um, Raggett not having a great game, so let's put Latte into defence and I hope that he can do a, a, a good job there. So four changes, and let's see if we can somehow muster up another opportunity. Here's Kundal, gets it to Pi, Pi forward, Jones chases, doesn't quite get there though. And now here's Bellingham, San Maximan to uh, Pedro. Bellingham again, he'll be trying to dictate the play. Here's Pi, good interception there. Now Pepe on this right-hand side, what can he do with it? He's still got it, Rodriguez, Dallas away. Lovely stuff, here's MacArthur. Now Bellingham to Rodriguez. Good tackle again from Adshead. And again, this is great. Well done, Adshead. Still going, but uh, Pepe's now got the ball. And what can he do with it? Can he whip it in? Doesn't look like it. It's Rodriguez. San Maximan, good block. Here's Cornick now. End of highlight. That is what we're talking about. That was great defending towards the end there. And let's be honest, it's been a decent performance away from home at a top Premier League side. And we're giving it our everything and uh, we will be getting a decent payout from this wonderful Newcastle United support. Obviously, half the gate receipts, it's a, it's a massive amount of money for, for us. We're struggling financially, so that couple of hundred thousand pound will be crucial. Here's Pedro now with the chance. Oh, he makes it 3-1. And uh, Pedro Conchalves makes Newcastle United a fourth round FA Cup team and look at the support. I mean, it's an absolute full house here. 52,354 to see the tune uh, taken on Portsmouth. And to be fair, they've, they've been the better team, but we've not done a, a bad job. We've not disgraced ourselves. Could have another goal here. Latte with the header. Oh, side netting. Keeper didn't move. Well, well, well. Nearly got a, a, another consolation goal there. But uh, Newcastle United come out on top. They beat us by three goals to one. But yeah, I have to say, they did us proud. The boys played well. And FA Cup's over for another year. But we should get a decent amount of money from that. So let's have a, a little gander at uh, what that would look like. So Pi wants a, another contract. We'll ask him to, to sack that. Um Yes, very good. Uh, so that agent has now been sacked. That's what we like to see. We'll send the assistant to that one because I'm not that bothered. What I would like to see is um, our income. So, gate receipts this month, 848000 So, yeah, we, we got a decent amount from that, didn't we? And considering... Uh, we're only at the 5th of Feb, and we've already doubled our income for gate receipts this month. That'll do nicely. And if we have a look at the finance overall, we're back into the black. And that's brilliant. Um, that's exactly what we needed to do. So we've restructured the club a little bit in terms of their finances. We've stabilised the situation um, after looking, quite honestly, like we were going to just shed money um, until the end of the season. But... We should be able to, to get there now. Uh, let's go and celebrate that fact by getting a result against Hull City, shall we? Okay, quite a few changes for the match against Hull. Just we're, we're struggling for match fitness, uh, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, I'll just introduce you to the team again. We've got Brad Young in between the sticks with uh, Dallas, Raggett, Latte and Pai in defence. Russell, Denny and Cottrell are in the midfield with Dale, Murdoch and Rattle starting behind uh, Harry Cornick up top. So let's get into the match then let's see how we get on in this one i'm really really hoping that we 
can perform as well as we did against Newcastle. And if we can do that, then I would assume we will do pretty well against Hull. Um, Hull are fighting for playoffs. Obviously, as I've said, we're kind of in mid-table obscurity. Look at the pitch. Now, that is uh, a frozen pitch. If ever I saw one. Um, <laughs> well, well, well. Not often you see that in Football Manager, but uh, I'd like to see some some stats, actually. I think we will on the, the stats screen. We'll see exactly what the... Uh, oh, that, the, the lines are blue as well. Crikey. Right. Uh, like the minus six... Goodness me, I'm guessing this is uh, just like real life, what we've just experienced. Light snow, minus six. That is pretty cold, pretty cold. So uh, let's see how we get on in this match. I'm hoping that we can uh, warm everybody up with a, a wonderful performance. Cottrell in the middle and Latte hits the side net in. That was a wonderful corner from Cottrell there, but uh, couldn't manage to turn it in there. And... Well, it remains nil-nil. There's uh, the good old yellow ball. Love to see it. Uh, good tackle from Pi, though. This is a, a, a good chance of a counter now. Pi on this left-hand side. What can he do with it? He whips it in towards Owen Dale with the header, and it's a, a decent save from Howes. And I have to say, Owen Dale, certainly not the player he was at the start of the season or last season. He's just gone off the boil a little bit. He has Latte, gets it to Raggett. Very difficult to see what's going on here but it's very very rare you see this sort of pitch in football manager here's uh, russell denny on the ball gets it back to raggett now here's dallas dallas on the right hand side bombing down that right hand side what can he do with it can he whip it in he's still going dallas and now russell denny into the middle cottrell's there and it was deflected straight into the goalkeeper and yes, we are definitely having the better of the action so far in this match. The first 20 minutes, all Portsmouth. Let's see if we can keep that going. Here's Hiam. Now to Howes in goal. Boots it clear. And uh, Latte cuts it out. Latte to Pai now. Latte again. Here's Pai. Latte. Raggett. Russell Denny to Cottrell. Back to Latte. Latte to Pi, Cottrell, Pi, Rattle, oh what a ball that is towards Josh Murdoch, great save from Howes, but that is exactly the sort of play that we can expect to see from Rattle, that was brilliant, Dallas is going to whip the corner in, he does get it in, Murdoch says it's headed back out towards Dallas into the middle and he doesn't find a Portsmouth player, Cottrell to Latte with the shot, oh, onto the roof of the net and... That could have been uh, the moment, but alas, it wasn't. Wow. Here's uh, Kachiki. Latte away. Here's Murdoch now with the header. And corner gets there. That's a brilliant run from the 32-year-old there. Now running with it. He stays on his feet. Now back to Russell Denny. Here's Cottrell. Over the top to uh, Cornick now. Oh, hits the post. Very unlucky. And as I say, we are massively on top here. It would be very much against the runner play. And it's a peno, Jeff. Oh, no. That is not what we want to see. Well, as I said, it would be against the runner play. Can Brad Young save us? No, he can't. And Hull City take the lead. 22nd goal of the season for this Oscar kid. Don't know who he is. Is he a real player or is he a new gen? Let's have a little look. Uh, oh, Oscar Estupinan. Okay. Looks pretty decent, actually. Definitely not for sale. 31 years old as well. He has Raggett on the ball. Gets it to Dale. Owen Dale. Now to Cottrell. Cottrell forward to Murdoch. But Cornick's in. Cornick scores. Very, very good goal there. Tenth goal of the season now for Harry Cornick. Very, very quickly becoming our first choice striker up there as well with a Ricky J. Jones um, being more of an impact sub if we need it. That pace later on, a good ball through from Cottrell and I think he will get the assist in the end. Excellent uh, finish from Harry Corning and Cottrell, I think hard done by, does not get the, um, 
get the assist. But what a first half from us, 1.4 XG. And to be honest, one of the best performances we've had this season. Uh, and it's still 1-1. Oscar. He has uh, Ferrell. Gets it to Hiam. That's forward. Latte on the ball now to Raggett. He has Russell Denny to Cottrell now. Rattle. He has Pye on the left-hand side. Bombing down that left-hand side. This is really good from Logan Pye. And Cornick say good save. Point blank from Howes. And <clears throat> Cornick could have had a hat-trick in this match. Hasn't just yet, but still time. It's going to be Cottrell into the middle. It's away by Hayam. Now he has Russell Denny. Russell Denny still pushing into the box. This is still a chance. Is that a penalty? It is not. Right. Entire team encouraged. Come on, boys. This is what we want to see. We want a winner. We've played really well. You feel like if we get another goal, it could start flowing, but that's over the top again towards Hatton. And now he has Dogakun sneak, and it's uh, Marcos Bukaramo's there into the middle, and Hatton scores. Third goal of the season, and again, you have to say, undeserved goal from Hull City. We have been by far the better team. A 2xG. We are being well and truly FM'd here. Right. Let's make some changes. As I say, Owen Dale not doing his best. We'll put Russell Denny there. We'll put uh, Thomason on the right. Um, what else can we do? Murdoch can come off. Um, let's put Kundal on. And there you go. Rattle having a good game there. Seven. Doing well, Cottrell apparently not, but I disagree with that. I think he's had some uh, good passes in this match. Here's Russell Denny, gets it to Raggett now. Let's make it twos each before bringing on a couple of changes. Here's Dale on the right-hand side. This is good run. Cottrell now. Cottrell gets it forward. Cornick's there, and Cornick scores, and that is why Ben Cottrell... Didn't deserve a 6.5. That was a terrific through ball. And that's his uh, assist. Cornick gets his second of the game. And it was all started with an Owen Dale run. Trademark run. Uh, but Cottrell, I mean, that is just brilliant vision. And since he's come back, he has been an absolute revelation. He is certainly back in with a shout of being a first teamer uh, more and more often. But this is a free kick in Hull City's range. And it's going to be Caramo with the shot. Are they going to get their third goal against the runner play? No, they're not. Good job Young didn't slip there, isn't it? Right, let's go on a little bit of a counter-attack here. Go on, son. Here's Raggett. Gets it to Dallas now. Dallas forward to Russell Denny. Russell Denny gets it to Cottrell now. Brilliant ball over the top. Can Corner get his hat-trick? I told you there was time for his hat-trick. And there it is, 12th. Goal of the season for Harry Cornick and Ben Cottrell with his hat-trick of assists, I would suggest, in this match. He was unlucky not to get counted for the first one. That was over the top. It went into Cornick's back, but he still managed to uh, put it into the back of the net. And it is now Hull City 2, Portsmouth 3, and we move ourselves up to 14th in the division. Cundall now with the free kick. Laddie with the header over the bar. Unlucky. Very unlucky there. But uh, 40 points and we're closing in on being pretty much guaranteed safety. Here's Kundal. Now Rattle. Here's Pye. Logan Pye on the ball. All the way back to Latte. Here's Thomason. Thomason on the ball. Gets it to Pye now. Pye to Rattle. Rattle forward. Mm, wasn't the best pass, but he wins it back. And that's... An Owen Dale trade, but he loses it again. That's a ball over the top. And here's Dugan Sinek. Oh, and just wide. Just wide at the end there. Oh. It is tense out there. We've got four minutes of added time. Can we hang on to it? Yes, we can. Three points in the bag. And a huge three points as well. And that was a really, really good performance. Lovely to see us uh, playing that well. And uh, on camera as well. And we move on to 40 points now. And we are officially 
just as far away from relegation as we are from the playoffs. So that is a, a really top quality achievement. Um, we are ahead of Birmingham and, and Fleetwood, so we are the best performing promoted team. Um, and as I say, you know, there's quite a few pretty bad teams in the division that I just don't think are going to be able to, to catch us by the end of the season. we got 15 games to go. We're 15 points clear. I think that's that's us pretty much done and dusted. Corner gets uh, man of the match, of course, for his brilliant performance. And you've got to say he's, he's doing well. You know, nine goals in 11 starts, essentially. OK, he's played 24 appearances uh, in reality, but... Recently, he has been playing very, very well. Played for Luton for many, many years, then uh, came over to Coventry um, and has scored double figures in the last three seasons. That's why we brought him in um, and he will be here for the next couple, well, the next year um, at the very least. Okay, he's on a lot of money, but he's scoring a lot of important goals at the moment. So, got to be happy with that. Right, uh, when are we going to come back then? Let's have a look. So we will definitely do those two at the end of the season. Um, let's see if we can squeeze another one in before then. Let's do Birmingham and Luton next time out. Um, Birmingham, of course, came up with us last season. They're a big team in their own right. And Luton are top of the league, so that'll be an interesting one. Um, intrigued to see how these next five matches go and whether we can keep this momentum going that we seem to have picked up recently. But if you have enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more Football Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.